Good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, no one. Better move up closer. Here we go. Let's get, wait while okay. we wait us, for everybody. Gets Let's us them. a chance to, to wait for you yes. to, oh. to join. Hello. Hi. 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 Friday. Wrap up. Would you like some apple juice? I'd love some apple mm. juice. Thank you very much for the apple juice, James. Mm, yeah, delicious the apple, apple juice. juice. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ari van der Westhuizen has joined us. <sighs> There's nothing like apple juice on a Friday afternoon, Ari van der Westhuizen. Hello, James. Hello, it's James. Gosh, look at the people are flocking in. I know. We just 41. can't control it's it. Because it's because it's because you're here, Jamil. Ah, how yes, wonderful. You'll see. Hold on, everyone. This is going to look odd. I'm just increasing the length of my selfie stick. <laughs> I wondered what you were doing. There we are. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. Oh, look out for that apple juice. Yes, we're looking out for that Terry Lee. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Brittany. Hmm. Good evening. Mm. Delicious. It yes, hello. Apple juice. Now, everybody, I know it's all very nice of you to say hello to each other and to us, but um, we need to generate a conversation. And while it's very pleasant to greet you for the next 10 minutes, um, perhaps a question or two or a statement. <laughs> Great drive last night. Thank you very Thank much, Kyan, for the welcome back. And yes, Kyan, yes, it's very good eyes you have there. Um, all right. Hello. Good to see. Shut up. Good to see you, Jamie. Good to see you back. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Very nice to have her back. I must say. Nice to all be right, back. Right, Lynn. How are the Birmingham boys doing? Not really much of an idea at the moment. I honestly have no. I mean, I've only been back for a day. I have mm. There was a, a male and a female around Buffalo's Hook. Yeah. But uh, beyond that, I mean, the Inkahumans seem to be they've all over the show. Exploded. Okay, they've yep. exploded. Okay. Yes, all over the place, giving birth probably. Um, hello, Donna from Rhode Island. Uh, yeah, so Boeing boys don't know. There was one on Torchwood the other day, at least on Chitra Chitra the other day. Two on Cheetah Plains we had, and then one further one on okay. Juma. Okay. All right, so yeah. they're, they're around. I mean, their tracks so are around, everywhere, yes. as they always are. Yes. And Brittany, I'm sorry you missed the drive. Yes, we I'm scandalized that you missed the drive. I think <laughs> it's appalling. You missed a um, very nice sighting of hyena cubs coming out to... Join the world. Yes. Probably our best, our best view of them so far. Mm. Thank and you, Deborah, for the welcome back. Carol, you want to know what happened to the buffalo? I'm going to let Jamie um, tell you about that. So, for those of you who missed it, just a short summary: there was a, a newborn buffalo this morning on the Sunrise Safari, and it, it really looked as though Mom was struggling to get up and feed it. But when I went back at the, or about an hour and a half after the Sunrise Safari, they were both gone. And that can only mean, surely, that they are both okay, mm. or at least that they've got yeah, up and that baby's so. had a drink. It ca I, I can't think of any other explanation. Lots of vultures, lots of battaliers, but all, I think, based around the yeah. afterbirth. And I think it's a huge thing. Uh, you know, we, I think we jump to conclusions quite often about the state mm -hmm. of animals and how resilient they are. Right. And I know you made a comment about how resilient they, they are. Yeah. So I think no, that it was absolutely okay. phenomenal. Cause when I looked at that situation, that poor little calf looked like it was getting weaker in front of us. Yeah, and it was absolutely fine. Yeah, uh, someone wants to know if Jill, uh, not Jill, uh, wants to know if Brent caught any fish. I don't know what that means. Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't catch any fish. I caught a, a rock, and nearly a small child, um, mm. both of which due to my incredible skill as a um, sea fisherman. That's called ca catching Mother Africa. Ah, mm. is it? Well, I caught Mother Africa. Brent did well not catch a fish. Um, that being said, we didn't really spend as much time as we expected fishing, which made lugging the fishing rods back home through the airplane and the airport entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Now, Larry, you want to know how it is that we are able... Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's Larry Rose Stutzman. This is Rose from Michigan. Oh, okay. How do you get to used to those odours from big cats uh, and not go around with bath bags? Um, Rose, you'll be amazed. You can get used to just about any yep. smell at all, and you will notice that. In fact, um, if you, there are exploding hearts in this bottom of the screen, <laughs> there are exploding hearts. It's most distracting. Very disconcerting. <laughs> uh, Rose, your nasal passages and your brain stops registering a smell after a while. So if you are around a smell for long enough, you stop smelling it completely. So even if you go, for example, into a public convenience where people have not been particularly well mannered, um, if you stay in there for long enough, and God if forbid, you, if you, if God you really forbid want that to. you should have to do that, <laughs> your nasal passages actually, well, it's not your nasal passages, it's your, um, your brain will stop registering the smell after a while. So, yeah, you can get used to it. And, I mean, 
I'm not sure that we ever get used to it, but it, it does. No, it, yeah, it, it becomes okay. It becomes I don't know, I'd, I'm no longer bothered by. Yeah. I, not, I wouldn't say not bothered, but mm. I'm aware of it in a kind of passing mm. manner. Yeah. Carol, you want to know how Sindile is? I'm afraid we don't know. His, uh, apparently, his collar has stopped pinging. In other words, its uh, battery has gone flat. And that means we don't know uh, where he is or what he's doing. I think that's okay. I think he's going to be fine. What do you I think? think he's. I think he's yeah. going to be fine. He's. I think he's proved himself now. And I mean, it was inevitable because of the the amount that that collar was pinging. Yeah. The batteries were going to run out at yeah. some point. I think he's going to be just fine. It just is. But whether or not we see him again, when we yeah. see him again, is. And I hope, I really hope that the collar falls off and they don't put it back on again, to be honest. Me too. I think it'll be quite nice just to let him be on his own. Thank you, Ellen. You say, uh, regards to Byron. Yes, we miss Byron, and Byron was good fun to have I still haven't met Byron. Oh, well, you're missing out. Uh, Apparently. He's missing out too, of course. Probably more than you are. (laughs) Oh, thank you, James. Among, along with whales, did you see anything other interesting marine life on the species on your leave, Jamie? Did yeah, you see marine whales? Marine life, marine life, yes, we saw whales. Yeah, very nice. We saw them and they were jumping right out of the water. It was incredible. Uh, there was the water life fly catcher, I think was probably the, the best very bird. Nice. Yes, that was wonderful. That oh. was in um, Selborne itself, nice. up in the tree. And then, other than that, the birds were pretty standard for Natal. I think both Brent and I know the birds mm. in that area relatively well. Okay. And marine life, that was pretty much it, although there's some, oh, I nearly said something terribly insulting. Let's just say that some of the South Coast people or visitors can mm. be terribly entertaining all in their own mm. right. Yes, let's leave it there. Yeah. Karen, penguins, not in the Natal coast. No, only down way south where it's a bit colder in the sea. James? Did you see that thing about the leopard hunting the penguins? I didn't. In Cape Town. Is inc- sorry, this is a, a separate. This is, that's that's amazing. Beside. It was a, yeah. a leopard, that, a Cape leopard, which of course is one of the, the hardest things to see. And um, they it went and killed a whole load of that's the penguins, incredible. which is not great for the penguins, but incredible. As no, a not nice if you're a penguin. No. But like being Steenbock at the other end of Karula's teeth. Yes. Yeah. 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 Not nice for the Steenbock, very nice for the rest of us. Exactly. Or Nigel yes. the Inyala. Yes, poor old Nigel. I know. Poor little fellow. Right. Did I go for a swim, Dawn? Yes, I did. And the only reason I went for a swim was because I thought I had to, and then the fishes started biting my toes, so Mm. I went all the way in. Good for you. Um, Brent, everybody, is at Leadwood, as far as I'm aware. I believe right now he's at Three Bridges, but yes, at Leadwood. He's at the Three Bridges pub. Wonderful. Okay, that's not too far from here, but far enough for him not to be heard on this particular broadcast. (laughs) MJ Bradley, I read about that leopard in Cape Town. Hope they can discourage him. No, MJ, he's not going to eat enough penguins to make any difference to the population. One leopard is certainly going to not have an effect, I don't think. They're also, the Cape leopards are rarer than the, mm. than the penguins in yeah, terms of... Yeah, exactly. They're leopards. rarer and they're much smaller than our leopards. Mm-hmm. Size of a sort of small house cat. No, they're not really. They're bigger than that, but they're not very big. Becky, wondering about Brent's hip operation. Uh, that's postponed for now. So he um, he has this leave to himself without the concern of the hip operation. Now I'm yes. sure he'll update you when you see him again next yes. week. Karen, am I composing a new song? Yes, well I'm always in some form of composition, Karen. Some of it I'm afraid, but like my photography is not worth public airing. And so, you know, we move on and we try something else. But yes, always a song around. <laughs> Thank you for both sharing your awesome country with us every day. Oh, it's our pleasure, it's a pleasure. Valerie. We're very glad <laughs> we're that so you glad. take the time to come along with us. Yep. It really is something that we're extremely grateful for. All of the joy of what we see is in sharing yeah, it, I think. Yeah, this is absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, James and Jamie. Love from Portugal. Hello, Anna Karina. Hello, Anna. Anna Karina. That's a very oh, Portuguese Ventura. name. Um, <laughs> Sunset colours have really been awesome. Yes, they have. I think there's been quite a lot of dust in the air. There have been a few winter winter winds about the place, possibly the odd fire in the forestry yep. lands down it, to the south of us. It was incredibly so hazy when we flew in. That's going on, yeah. yeah. Lots of fires, I think. Yeah. James, when are you going to play that guitar of yours on Facebook Live? Uh, never, I don't think. Uh, no, I might. But we have to, you see, I can't. If I was playing the guitar, what happened is that that's, <laughs> that's the picture you would be looking at. So. Uh, I, I need to hold the selfie stick. <laughs> you just yes. covered your phone in sand. I need to hold the selfie stick. Hang on. <laughs> yes. 
Otherwise, it'd be impossible. None of us could possibly hold the selfie no, stick for him. No, exactly. Of no, definitely not. Nobody else is skilled at holding the selfie stick like I am. Yes. What are you drinking, Chris? We're drinking apple, apple juice. Apple juice. Delicious. Um, James, are we going to miss the FSC and you playing the guitar? No, no, well, we will do be doing fireside chats again as soon as we have these sort of exceptional weeks. When there are lots of yeah. highlights, that's when we do them. And yeah. it usually helps if there's more than two of us, just in terms of it does. Yes. set up and... Because otherwise some poor person, and it's usually James, gets stuck holding the floor on his own while the other person races across. And it just yes. turns into a little bit of a logistical... And Ellen Fowler, you make a very good point. Jamie has said that she was going to play her flute for us and she has not. I did. Well, we haven't had a fireside chat since so. That's an absolute lie. Right, we'll hopefully have the penny whistle out soon. I might bludgeon her into it this week, but let's see. <laughs> um, what else can we talk about? Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Tammy. Tammy. I think we shall. Possibly on... Uh, Hello, is there a replacement for Sam? Nigel, nothing confirmed yet. A couple of people have come through, you know that. Um, but nothing's been confirmed. We'll keep you posted as soon as we can. Yep, we'll let you know. As we get tireder and tireder. <laughs> to us driving endlessly. Um, uh, how's the baby rhino? Huh? Baby rhino? Baby rhino, I don't know. I don't no know about a rhino. rhino. We don't talk about rhinos. We, Shh. we don't see them. Shh, we've never seen one. No. Um, looks like Santa behind you, James. It does. It isn't. It's just an array of plugs. Oh, it does look like... I see, I see exactly what see exactly is. what you mean. <laughs> exactly. Um, are the hyena cubs too big to kill each other? Um, that's a nice question, Di. I think... Uh, I'm going to give my impression that I'm Go going to it. ask the sort of hyena expert here. I think that they are... Um, born to a very low-ranking female, and so therefore, even if they are female, they're unlikely to kill each other. Would you agree? Uh, I don't think they're going to kill each other at this stage. Apparently, I read an article that, that basically says siblicide or canism is actually rarer than we, than think, we it think it is. And a lot of it is actually anticide, sort of. Really? Yeah. So, um, the, fe the females killing other females' cubs. And probably oh. high-ranking females killing okay. low-ranking females' oh, cubs if they, get, if they get too bulky, I think is the is the idea. Ooh, okay. I don't think they're going to kill each other, but I do think we're going to have some interesting dynamics. I've never seen hyena cubs fight for milk like they did today. Really? The proper, it was a proper little oh, brawl, really? and one got sent back into the den. By the mother? No, by the other cub. Oh, really? Yeah, well, there's a noticeable size difference. That's it's really? interesting. Noticeable size difference? Mm -hmm. One looks very bulkier. Okay. I haven't seen them both. I've seen their heads, but that's all I've seen. Oh, Stacy meant the buffalo calf. I think it's fine, oh. Stacy. Not the not the um, not the rhino calf. The buffalo calf. I think it's okay. We think they're going to be. Okay, um, we yes. think they're fine. Yeah. Um. Right. Everybody, I think that's going to be it for us now. Uh, Valerie, you get the last question. You say names for the hyena cubs. Um. I think we do have to give that some thought because now we've got... Yeah, now we're getting to the, the point of born, sheer yeah, confusion. And born in June, so we can't call these ones June, so I'm not sure what we'll call them. I was thinking about the sort of the, um, the Alpha, Beta, Charlie, mm -hmm. Delta, but that doesn't work because no. then you've got Jaguar 1 and 2. Yes. It doesn't really no. work at all. No. So we'll have to give it some thought, and of course we're always welcome to suggestions. Yes. Open to suggestions, yeah. except for the leopards, of course, which are called George and Charlotte and shall be forevermore. <laughs> Okay, everybody, okay. have a wonderful weekend. Bye -bye, we'll see everybody. you tomorrow uh, on the weekend. And I hope that you sleep very well and that you have as much delicious apple juice as we are having. Good night. Good night.